Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing cardio in conjunction with um, some glute work. Um, the reason why I'm focusing so much on glute work is because whenever you're trying to run, uh, walk, or bike, the stronger your glutes are, um, the more power you're going to have and the more endurance you're going to have as well. Okay, so basically um, you're going to need your treadmill, bike, elliptical, um, or jump rope at home. And if you would prefer to do this outside, what I recommend is watching the first um, couple of minutes of this, watching what the exercises look like. And then once you memorize it, you can do the cardio outside and then pause and do the exercises as well. Okay, so it's up to you on how you want to run this workout. So I'm going to give an overall explanation of what we're going to need. So like I said, you need a piece of cardio equipment and or go outside. Um, and we're going to need, also need some dumbbells. So we're going to do 90 seconds of cardio, all right? So 60 seconds is going to be a moderate pace. And what I mean by moderate pace is that you shouldn't be able to um, hold a conversation with people, but it shouldn't feel like you're going all out, okay? If you're able to talk, um, it's called the talk test. If you're able to talk while you're on the bike, elliptical, or jogging, that means you're going at an easy pace. So I'm not asking for an easy pace, I'm asking for a moderate pace. Um, and if you're outside, that means that you're briskly walking um, up the hill, preferably running or uh, biking at a pace that you would be able to talk to your friends or your family member too. The last 30 seconds, we're teaching your body to shift gears and we're going to hit it really hard. So the last 30 seconds is going to be as fast as you can. Um, basically, getting off of your cardio equipment, you should feel like you couldn't do that again. Okay, that's how hard I want you to go. Okay, we're going to take a quick break um, and transition, and then we're going to go into these exercises, okay? So you're going to need your dumbbell for this. It's called a dumbbell donkey kick. So what you're going to do is you're going to get onto all fours here, and you're going to draw that belly button up into your spine. You're going to take your dumbbell, and you're going to sneak it in between your thigh and, the, and your calf, and you're going to squeeze it, okay? Then you're going to flex your foot, so toes to the ground, keep that belly button um, up to your spine, and you're going to kick up and bring it back down, okay? So we're generating core activation and really hammering those glutes. Okay, it's gonna be 20 total, which means 10 on each side. Then we're gonna go into a donkey kick to fire hydrates, okay? So we're gonna go donkey kick, come back, exhale, fire hydrate, which means kind of like a dog being a fire hydrate, really getting those obliques. So every time we exhale, I want you to squeeze your butt Inhale, relax your butt. Exhale, squeeze your butt. Inhale, um, relax your butt. Okay, so it's really important that you squeeze to engage all those lower ab muscles. The next thing we're going to do, and don't worry, I'm going to do these with you, so don't feel like you remember, I just want you to visually see it first, is we're going to do a staggered um, deadlift. Okay, so I'm going to show you what a normal deadlift looks like. Normal deadlift looks like this. Feet are shoulder width apart, we're going to bend over with a flat back, and we're going to exhale, push on the way up. Okay, now we're going to stagger it by leaving your right foot as is, and you're going to take one step forward, okay, but the same principle still apply, okay, just only a slight bend, you're stopping it right where your kneecap ends, and you're back up, okay. What this does is it adds a deficit to the movement, which means that front leg has to work a little bit harder than it would be when it's equal to your left, okay. So again, we're going to do 10 on each leg. Then we're going to do... A um, sorry, I lost my place. On, oh, it's called the anterior reach lunge. Okay, so we're going to stick your leg out like you're doing a, kind of like a not necessarily a reverse lunge because that's back here, but just a little step forward. So, um, slight bend here. You don't want your knee over your toes. You're going to reach down like you're doing a deadlift on just one leg. See how straight my back leg is, and we're going to hold. And for one 1,000, two 1,000, and then we're going to straighten and bend out of our leg, okay? So exhale, bend the leg, straight back, shoulders down and back, exhale, push out of your heel, straighten the leg, okay? What that does is it works your um, quads and your glutes um, isometrically, so you get deeper into the muscles, and then when you powerfully push off, you get that fast twitch muscle fire firing as well. Then we're going to do um, Bulgarian split spots. So what you're going to need to is you're going to need something like an edge. So I'm going to use the edge of my wall. You can use the edge of a sofa. 
um, or a chair, but it shouldn't be, it should not be higher than your hip, okay? It should probably be around mid-thigh or lower. So you're gonna come back here and you wanna jump your foot out just a little bit or walk your foot out. And you're gonna to wanna to sink your knee down as far as you can and then exhale, press, okay? So if you're losing your balance, I want you to take your foot off of the wall or the chair, uh, but the angles be able to get there in the future, okay? So that really means if you're wobbling off, that means that you need to work on your stability in your front leg, okay? Um, then we're gonna do um, stair hip heights. So what that looks like is you're gonna stay standing. I'll do this sideways and front way so you can see. You're gonna stand like you're um, gonna walk forward. Your hands are gonna be on your hip. Your left foot is gonna be off the ground and you're gonna use your hip to tilt and lift the other leg up and back down. So from the front way, you're gonna use this oblique in your side glute muscle to tilt your body and bring it back down. Okay, this is better to do on a stair where this leg would be on a stair and this foot could drop all the way down. So you don't wanna to touch it, you just wanna barely touch it with your heel if it's like a tap, not a step down. But if you don't have any stairs around you, you can do what I'm doing and just barely set it down but really initiating the movement from this oblique and coming back down, okay? Then we're gonna keep hammering out these super dogs because they're so important for you. So like we did in the last video, so hammering out those glutes, you're gonna come down on your elbow, you're gonna do 50 on each leg, you're gonna draw your belly button up, you're gonna drive your elbows down and towards your knees, you're gonna keep your right knee behind your right elbow, extend that left leg, belly button up, and you're just gonna pulse, okay? So again, not way up here. You're just staying even with your hip bone. So just right here. And then back down, your toes always flex. Keeping your chin off of your chest. And then we're going to hit that 90 seconds hard again and do it another time. All right, so let's go ahead and do uh, the exercises first for the people who are wanting to do this outside. So they can do this with the video and then we'll go on the cardio. All right, so we're going to grab our dumbbell. It's going to be 10 on each leg. Okay, so sneak that dumbbell. I would say no higher than um, eight pounds, but um, if you're super strong and you want to do 10 pounds, that's fine. Um, you're going to draw that belly button up, squeeze, flex that toe. You're going to drive up and back down. Now, you have to know that the weight is right if you can do a full 90 degree extension. Okay? If you're not doing a full 90 degree extension, that means that weight is too heavy. Okay, we're halfway here. Exhale, drive, keeping that chin long. Squeeze your butt up, relax your butt down. Squeeze your butt up, relax. Two more. Exhale, drive, inhale down. Last one. Okay, you're staying on this leg, so don't switch the dumbbells. We're going to go, don't you take the fire hydrant. Draw on that belly button so your back is not hyperextended. Toes are flexed. You're going donkey kick, full 90 degrees, bring it back, fire hydrant. Okay, try not to tilt your body. Exhale, drive, inhale back, exhale out. Okay, here we go. Don't rock that body. Okay, kind of halfway here. Keep breathing, exhale, wave your out your body, inhale back. Okay, one more. Good. All right, so you're staying on that right leg, okay? So we're just gonna keep that burn going. We're gonna go into that staggered deadlift. So pick up two weights this time. You're gonna start in a normal deadlift position. You're gonna walk that right leg out just a little bit. Okay, palms are facing in toward your body. Retract those shoulder blades back. Okay, we're gonna um, bend down like a deadlift and then we're gonna full extend. Okay, so that back leg really bends. This front leg pretty much stays straight. Okay, so let's start here. Exhale, drive. Inhale down. Squeeze your butt hard at the top. Remember, all those isometric holds is what really generates physical change. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale down. Good eight. 
Big toe off the ground, two more. And last one. Okay, good job. So now we're gonna go into our left leg here. So go ahead and drive that dumbbell right into the socket of your left leg. You're gonna squeeze it, palms are nice and wide. You're gonna draw your belly button up towards your spine. Here we go, we're gonna donkey kick. Exhale, drive, hold, inhale down. Okay, try to stay within control. This should not be a fast movement. Seven here, exhale, keep in your charge of your form, neutral spine, shin long. Two more. And last one. Okay, now we're gonna do a donkey kick to fire hydrant. Exhale, kick, inhale back. Exhale, fire hydrant, inhale back. Really taking control over those glutes, making them work. Keep that toe flexed. Good, that's halfway. Exhale, drive, long neck. Keep that belly button drawn up. Two more. Exhale, drive as high as you can. Inhale down, exhale, drive. Last one, drive up. Hold, bring it down, out, bring it back. Okay, so then we're gonna go um, into that staggered deadlift again. So now our left leg is gonna be out in front, both dumbbells in your hand. Start off in a normal deadlift position, palms facing in towards your body. Walk that left foot out, left leg stay straight, and your um, right knee bends, okay? So here we go, inhale here, exhale, drive, squeeze at the top. Keep your chin up, look three feet ahead of you, bend that back leg, you should be working too. This is seven. Three more. Last one. Cheering you guys on. Alright, so. Next up, we have the anti-anterior lunge reach. So, kind of like a staggered deadlift, but not really. Let's start with that right leg. We're gonna walk this left leg back, okay? Keep that left leg straight. Palms facing in towards each other. You're gonna reach with the flat back, okay? So none of this stuff. Flat back, okay? Come back up, straighten the leg. Then hold, look at my form, copy my form, straight back, drive out your heel. Exhale here. Inhale, shin, exhale, out. Halfway. Okay, keep that back straight, hold here, and back up. Two more. Okay, you can go heavier on these if you want to. As long as your back stays straight. We're gonna switch it up. The right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Palms in, we reach with the flat back, okay? And then come back up. Don't feel like you need to go all the way down to the ground, okay? We're only going to go about our shin height, and that's it. Halfway, hold. Now squeeze that glute nice and tight here. Two more. Inhale down, exhale push, tighten. Last one. And good work. Okay, you guys have to drink water. I'm gonna switch my baby before he flips. Switch him over to a new PlayStation, huh? Come here. Whoa. All right, so 
Next up, Kajabadi. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do those stair hip hikes, okay? So if you can get on a stair, great. If not, you're gonna follow me. So on that right leg, um, you're gonna generate a, like almost like a uneven hip hike here, okay? So three, two, one. Exhale, drive, inhale down. We're not setting that foot down. I know this seems like a minute exercise, but what we're doing is we're teaching that hip to flex correctly when we're just doing everyday activities. So I, prom I promise you it'll pay off. Remember, it doesn't always have to be extremely CrossFit hard all the time, okay? It's these little movements that is what helps you stay healthy. We got one more. And bring it back, okay? So I want your hands here for feedback to make sure your lower abs are drawn in. Because sometimes you get lazy and pull forward. Make sure that they're hard the whole time by squeezing your butt down, okay? Here we go, left leg, inhale, squeeze, and down. Good, come up tall. You should feel it right here, twisting. And drive, exhale, hold. Two more. And last one. Okay, so if you haven't um, tried that on a step, maybe it's not this workout that you do that, but you should really try that on a step. And it's um, definitely a butt, a butt burner. Okay, next up, we are going to do the super dogs. Okay, so you're gonna go down with your elbows like a low plank position. Hands are gonna be high fiving the ground. We're gonna draw our elbows back into our knees and holding that constant tension. Right knee stays behind my right elbow, extending that left leg, belly button up, chin is up, looking at in front of me, exhale up, inhale down. Remember, it's not a yanking motion, you're controlling it with your glutes. This is three, we got 47 more, here we go. Squeeze your butt at the top, relax your butt here. Exhale, squeeze, inhale down. Stay with my pace. Remember, drawing those elbows in towards your rib cage, creating a little bit more tension on your core. Thirty, twenty more. If you're getting tired. Take a break. You got to make sure you're lifting. Ten more. Come on, stay with me. Four more. Last one. Good job. Bring it through. All right. So next up, we're going to do our other leg. So go back into the forearm, um, forearm position, high body on the ground. Draw your elbows down and back into your knees. Right leg extends, draw the belly button up. We're going to exhale, pulse, inhale down. Keeping that chin off your rear chest. This is two. Here we go. Keeping your leg as straight as possible and as controlled as possible. Squeeze your butt, relax the butt. Exhale, squeeze, inhale down. Okay, here we go, 30 more. A lot of people say that's not motivating to see how much we have more, but that's okay. It's good for your mental toughness to know that there's a long road ahead of you. A 
long road, but a doable road. Then you got 20 more. Okay, 10 more, we're almost there. Stay with me, exhale up, inhale down. Squeeze, relax, squeeze and flex, relax. Chin up. Two more. And good job. Okay, go back to the child's pose. Stretch it out, okay? So I want you guys to take a drink of water. Now, for those of you who are wanting to do this outside, like go for a hike, baby, make sure you do 90 seconds hard and then do those exercises again. For those of you staying inside, 90 seconds on your cardio equipment, then we're gonna go back to those same exercises. Mm. And since, I forgot to say this, it's getting hotter outside, um, more water, and also some sort of electrolyte if you, if you can, possibly um, an hour before you work out if you're a morning person and like to work out super early, make sure you're sitting on electrolytes throughout your workout um, so that you guys don't dehydrate your muscles. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go for a 90 second effort. Remember, 60 seconds moderate followed by 30 seconds falls to the wall. Okay, you should not be able to hang on to a conversation here. Okay, so go ahead and get on your equipment here. We're going to move out, get into a piece, we're going to move out in five seconds. Okay, three, two, one, moderate. Here we go, find your pace. Keeping your form intact, straight back, shoulders down to relax. Here we go, 30 seconds left before we go hard. Stay with it. You should already be out of breath. It should be hard right now. Push, push. Okay, in 10 seconds we're gonna move. If you need to up your gears to get your heart rate up, that's fine. Other than that, it's all about intensity. In three, two, one, last 30 seconds, as hard as you can, let's go. Final 15, hit it.
Two more. Get those hips all the way, or that foot all the way up, okay? Should be 90 degrees. Last one. Good. Okay, remember, we're staying on that right leg. Now we're going to go into that staggered deadlift. So grabbing your dumbbells in a dumbbell position, or a deadlift position. Walk that right leg out. Okay, back leg is bent. Uh, front leg is straight. Okay, so we're going to bend. Keep that front leg straight. If you're not feeling it, walk it out a little bit more. You shouldn't feel too much of a pull. If you feel a heavy pull, you walked out too far. It should just be a gentle pull, feeling it in your back leg as well. Squeeze at the top. Exhale, drive. Two more. Last one. And good. Now we're doing our left side. Going back to the ground. Okay, in donkey kick position, we're going to get down on all fours, tuck that dumbbell in between that um, junction there. Retract your shoulder blades back, try belly button up. Flex this foot that has the weight. Exhale, drive. Inhale down. Lean your belly button, you're on up to your spine. Keep your spine long. <laughs> Really push, you gotta feel the ceiling. Last one. Good. Donkey kick the fire hydrant. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Squeeze your glutes. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go into that staggered deadlift from there, and then go into that interior reach. So we'll be ready to hold the dumbbells in both hands. Okay, so left leg out to extend, right leg back and bend. Okay, palms facing in towards your body. We bend that back leg, keep this front leg straight, and exhale press. Okay? Exhale, drive, squeeze, inhale down. If you're unable to keep this front leg straight, that's okay. What that means is, is that your low back is super tight and your hamstrings are, which therefore means your hamstrings are tight. So I need you guys to do my mobility videos more than you're working out, okay? Trust me, you can get mobile, you can do a lot more greater things with your body. Oh, it's horrible English. You can do greater things with your body. One more. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lunge reach. So right leg out in front. Back leg is now straight. Bend that front leg, back is straight. Exhale, push. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Inhale down, up and out of your heel. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Switch it up. Left leg out in front. Right leg back. Big top of the ground. Exhale down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend that front leg. Keep that back straight. Exhale, back. Halfway. Hey, Duke, Duke, you're okay. Hey. Three more. Good. Heavy bend here. Straighten. If you're wobbling, you need to drop the weights. One more. Good. Okay. So now uh, we're going to be doing those stair hikes. So go ahead and plant your foot here. You're going to hip hike. And down, okay? So exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. So it's 
Sechs. Okay, one more. Uh, okay, so now we're going to plant that left foot. Sorry, baby. We're going to plant that left foot. Okay, and we're going to hip hike that other, that right leg. So exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. You want to show them how it's done, buddy? Exhale up, inhale down. Okay, exhale and inhale. Okay, really feeling it pull through those obliques, squeezing through your glute meat right here. Last one. Good, now we're gonna go down into super dogs, okay? So, you're gonna lay your baby down right in front of you. Just kidding. If you have a baby, you can do that. If not, you're on your elbows. You're on your elbows, your left foot is extended back. Right leg is right behind your right elbow. You're gonna exhale, kick, inhale down. Okay, we got 50, okay? You're starting now. Hi. Hi. Okay, so really make sure that you're exhaling up and really squeezing at the top. Nice, slow and controlled movements here. Do you think this is funny? you think this is funny? You just wait until you're old enough. I'm going to make you do all this stuff. <laughs> all right, 30 more. Keep going. 20 more. Okay, 10 more. Stay with it. It's going to be hard because your legs are tired now. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, switch it up. Woo. Okay, so left knee down behind your elbow, right leg extend. Draw that belly button up. We got 50. Let's move. You think this is funny, Duke? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sixteen, hold it together. Okay, we got thirty more. He thinks it's funny to kick me right now. You think that's funny? Twenty more. Okay, 10 more. One, two, three, flex that foot, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, that was hard. All right, so now we're gonna do 90 seconds on your chosen cardio, okay? So, same thing. Uh, we're going to do 60 seconds moderate, followed by 30 seconds as fast as you possibly can go. You want to watch mama over here, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. So we're going to get on to our cardio machine. 60 seconds moderate. Okay? Here we go. Jump on. Can you take a drink of water? Do it now. 
We're moving out, team. Here we go in three, two, one. 60 seconds, moderate. Use those activated muscles that we just turned on right now. Shoulders down, chin up. We're halfway through the 60 seconds. If you're not breathing, medium hard, you gotta go. Sometimes that means increasing your incline or your gear if you need to. Okay, in five seconds, we're gonna hit it hard, 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's hit it, team. Come on. Final 15, hit it. Five, four, three, two. And one, write it down. Woo. Okay, so your legs should be pretty tired. Now here's the deal. If you have the time, um, which I don't at the moment because we got a diaper situation going on here. Um, but if you have the time, please um, do that whole set again, however, Instead of doing the full reps, I want you guys to cut every reps in half. Okay, so besides the super dogs, we did everything at 10. So you're going to cut that in half, so five on each leg. The super dogs will now be 25 on each leg. You're going to uh, finish out with one more 90 second hard. Last 30 seconds, balls to the wall. Make sure you guys cool down. All right, guys, love you so much. See you soon.